G'day guys, welcome back to our playthrough of Subnautica. Hope you guys are doing well. We are in the middle of preparing ourselves to go back to the danger cave, the, the terror cave, um, and to see if we can again go beyond the biome to get to, well, the, the giant fossil that we found in the previous episode. Luckily, it is uh, supposedly an extinct uh, carnivore, so we won't have to worry about actually finding one of those things and it, you know, devouring on us, but um, yeah, we should hopefully be able to get ourselves closer to where the Degasi or proposed Degasi habitat is. So that is our initial goal in this episode, just uh, obviously getting myself fed and just making sure that we've got everything that we need to sustain ourselves out there. So just gonna top everything up until we don't really need to drink any water and stuff. Yeah, okay, that looks good to me. I mean, we could go a little bit more if we really wanted to. Uh, and yeah, we're just gonna double check that we've got like enough water and food. Um, I think food-wise, we're looking good. We still have a couple of cured, uh, well, I keep calling them, um, peepers, but they're actually the oculi, right? Oculuses. Um, and, yeah, we still have the prawn suit grappling hook there, um, tagged, so I'm just gonna clear up the tags, make sure that, uh, everything is... Uh, looking clear on the HUD, but I think we're ready to go. We should have all of the space we need to pick up stuff, and uh, I'm just gonna double check on the storage in the prawn suit here. Yeah, there's nothing we need there. Um, we are going with the sea moth, however, so uh, I don't really think that, uh, that I want to take the prawn suit down there with me. Uh, not yet, at least, because... I don't exactly want to go out there to gather up stuff. We did that last time and we had to sort of come back as a result. So I am sort of thinking about mostly ignoring the stuff that we see down there, except for maybe some of the uh, blood postules, because I think those might be kind of uh, good to grab just to make some more benzene. In fact, uh, I did actually complain about not having space for stuff because we've got all of these big blood oil postules and I might actually convert that into benzene right away. There's no reason for us to keep those blood postules like that um, because I think that's all it makes, right? The benzene. So I do have another couple in here and I'm thinking of maybe grabbing some more while we're down there. That way we can make a bit more benzene and just have, you know, stocks of benzene for whenever we might actually need it. So that's the plan. Let me just quickly swap out our batteries here. And yeah, all the other batteries I'm still pretty comfortable with, so I'll leave things as is. Uh, I'll grab the power cell and I do want to bring the power cell with us because, well, I don't know how far we're needing to go to get to that Degasi habitat. I assume it's not further away than where we have been, but the last I want, um, or the last thing I want to happen to us is, uh, being stranded there and not being able to, to get around with the, the sea moth. Right, so, the initial target, I reckon, is to get back to the wreck and I think we should be able to navigate from there, back to where we need to go. Um, yeah, there seemed to be some kind of an opening that we stumbled across last time, which led us to the big fossil. So hopefully we can find that again. Uh, it might not be a bad idea to grab the... Um, the beacon here because I don't really see a, a need for us to 
leave the beacon where it is currently. Because, yeah, I mean, we've already completely explored that wreck. Hopefully I didn't really miss anything. So yeah, let me just quickly stop by here and we'll grab the beacon and... Uh, I'm thinking of maybe placing the beacon back down when we eventually find the entry point to... I guess the, the fossilized biome. Well, it's not exactly a fossilized biome. But the biome with all of the fossils nearby. Okay. So... I am going to also try my hand at using the sonar a little bit more to try and navigate. It's just going to help us sort of understand whether or not there are pathways that we are supposed to be able to traverse through rather than all of this darkness. So yeah, there's an area through here, but I'm not- oh my god. What are those things? Oh, jeez. I don't know if these things would be... Uh... Docile. Oh my god, alright. Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they, they, they might not like us being here. Yeah, that one's definitely chasing us. Uh, did we take some damage there? I'm not entirely sure, but... I will just do a quick repair. Make sure the sea glide is fully topped off. In terms of hull strength. Yeah, let's maybe turn the other way because if I recall correctly it's not far from where some electric eels might be sort of hanging around and you know um, sort of patrolling if that makes sense I don't know if they're really patrolling they're probably just like scouring the area for food so I mean that's the only one that I see down there. And I'm not entirely sure if I actually see any kind of pathway that we can follow. Maybe towards the left over here. Yeah, I gotta be careful of the warpers. I'm pretty certain that we didn't go to the side where we've just found those, um, I don't know, I, I guess they're not exactly squids, but maybe they're more like octopus, those octopus looking things. Yeah, I think maybe that's where we want to go. Yeah, and that's another electric eel, and as I said, these electric eels seem to be sort of hanging around this area, and there's this opening right here which should lead us to where we were in the previous episode. Yes, okay, exactly where we want to be. So, what I'm gonna do is, before I forget, anyway, is I do want to place down the beacon. And, yeah, I'm just not entirely sure what to call this beacon, to be honest, but... We'll, uh, we'll name that. Uh, I'll just call it Pathway for the time being, just because this is essentially a pathway. Uh, that is not what I wanted to do. Okay, great. Um, and yeah, that's the the right color at least for the time being while we're trying to get our bearings But yeah, uh, we were here the other day 
and we did find quite a lot of nickel. So with nickel, I will, you know, make the exception to stop and actually pick up because I don't think we've seen that much nickel at all. So the more I can find, the better. But it seems like nickel is actually quite rare. I'm seeing a lot of quartz and stuff here. I think that might be a little bit. Yeah, there's not much of it at all. <laughs> um, maybe if we go even further, we might find what we're looking for. Uh, but anyway, that's not really our main objective here. Our main objective is to try and get closer to the Dekasi habitat. Hopefully, this pathway actually leads us there. It'd be nice if we could find like a really big nickel deposit somewhere. Just a bit of limestone. Ooh. Oh god, right. I did not realize these things would get in to this biome as well. Yeah, we've got to be careful. Yeah, I'm glad I actually heard it, to be honest. Oh my god. Alright. Is that it? Oh jeez. Yeah, I'm trying to... Break aggro. A titanium mass somewhere in this area. Unable to confirm whether it originated on the Aurora. Titanium mass. Well, that must be the habitat then, right? Yeah, there it is. Look at how big that one is. I think that's like maybe twice as big or maybe just a little bit bigger than the previous habitat that we found, but there are these, um, octopus looking monsters around, which apparently they do some kind of like a discharge attack, like an AOE. It seems like a lot of the creatures attack with some kind of electricity. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit concerned. But we do need to explore the habitat, though. So... Yeah, this is a little bit complicated. Oh god. Alright, I've bumped into the side of the cave there. Um... Right, maybe let's start with something a little simpler here, so... I just want to see if we can scan these things. These things, I'm not entirely sure what they are. Anchor pods. So, let's have a read of that. Welcome aboard, Captain. These unusual flora specimens have been encountered exclusively on the deep reefs. They consist of a large spherical gas-filled membrane anchored to the seafloor by its root system. 
At these depths, it is unlikely this structure is designed to enhance access to sunlight, but rather the pod's ability to propagate. Once the pods attain sufficient height, they burst, releasing spores which catch the currents and disperse around the local area. Hmm. Alright, coast is clear, kind of. Oh, okay, the thing is still moving around off in the distance though, oh, and it's coming back. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what the best way is to to try and explore this place without getting attacked. Also have some warpers over that side. Um, what I might do is I might leave the sea moth over here and we'll, um, we'll quickly move in to the habitat using the sea glide. And hopefully we're safe in here once the thing comes back. I assume it's not going to be able to get to us while we're in here. And perhaps maybe it doesn't even know that we're here to be honest. Coffee vending machine. I mean, that is absolutely critical, right? Definitely want that. So, I assume we can now make this thing? Yeah, here. Synthesizes hydrating caffeine free coffee. Oh man, that's the worst kind of coffee. <laughs> Can't we have anything good? Like, first it's the booze, and we can't have any of the booze. I mean, look at that. It's just sitting over there. Oh! And there's even more of the good stuff here as well. Please, stop fighting and listen. We're sick. What? How? You've been coughing, right? Feeling itchy? Blisters? Yeah. The biometrics would have warned us if we were sick. It's something new. It's not in the database. Come on, then. What's it gonna do? Turn us inside out? Dissolve us into jelly? It's an alien bacteria. It's everywhere. <laughs> Every organism on this planet. It's altering our genetic code. Uh, how are the creatures surviving if they're infected? I don't know yet. Want me to cut some of them open for you? Find out what makes them tick? No. Just tell me what you need, son. Materials. Equipment. Just... Can I have some quiet? I need some time to think. Okay, so they've just realized that they've got some kind of infection, which I assume is the same infection that we have. Near blueprint acquired. Swim charge fins. Okay. okay, he's going off in that direction. So I'm gonna make a dash for the, uh, the sea moth here. Whew. Alright. Um, yeah, I just wanted to catch my breath in there. Let's quickly repair this. Um, another thing that I could do is take out the stasis rifle, and I could stasis one of these guys and maybe scan them. But yeah, some of the sounds that they make are kind of terrifying, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> I do not like this area one bit. Um, I wonder if there's stuff outside, like in the, um, the cargo boxes there. I is that everything? Surely there's more here. Like, I, I think I saw like additional floors above us, but I'm not actually seeing a um, pathway to get up there. Oh, 
Oh man, it might be attacking our sea moth potentially. Yeah, okay, that's that's not great. Okay, okay. Let's get out of here. Cause so I think if our sea moth gets taken out, I think we're done for. Um Alright, maybe the trick is to perhaps just leave the sea moth a little bit further away. Maybe that was a little too close. But I don't think they come out this far, so here's hoping anyway. <laughs> oh yes, stasis rifle. Let me grab that. And uh, hopefully we can stasis one of them. Give it a good scan. Uh, the only problem with this though is now I've got to watch my air intake quite a bit more. Um, yeah, see there's definitely a couple more tiers, unless maybe the entrance point is somewhere else. Okay, looks to be fighting something else. Integrating new PDA data. Oh, uh, I wasn't fast enough. Let me back out and I'll see if I can find that entry. Cyclops tore a hole clear through the reinforced hull. I barely got my breather in time. I told her. I said others would come. The rupture threw me clear of the habitat. And the monster turned and bore down on me. And just as its tentacles came within reach, neither appeared out of nowhere. She had a sea glide in one hand, a jagged piece of scrap metal in the other. She meant to butcher that beast or die trying. The last I saw her, she had the metal lodged in its neck as the monster did its best to shake her, contorting off into the darkness. I'm certain she got her wish, one way or another. Then I thought I saw a light deep below me. I hoped maybe Bart had swum clear. I followed it. Now I wonder whether I saw anything at all. Our oxygen is low. The habitat is gone. I can't see the sky. Something surely has the scent of my blood. Yeah, okay. So I guess these kraken looking things managed to destroy the hab. But I mean, that Marguerite though. She sounds like a total badass. <laughs> She's uh, managed to maybe take one down with her. Oh my god. Right, this this place is stressing me out. Alien containment. Acquired. Oh god. All right. We've got krakens, we've got Warpers. Yeah, everything wants to kill us here. I have had it with you, risking our lives. Oh, stow it, Chief. The kid can't kill this disease without fish to study. I'm just bringing him home. What? Tell her. Tell her I'm right. You're both wrong. Marguerite, I can't find out how they resist the bacteria if you slaughter them all. It ain't always they oblige in coming in alive. He means you're being reckless. Father, the outcome's no better if we hole up in here and don't go outside. But we have to find a middle way. There is no compromise. Not while she's on my sea base. Your sea base? I'm going outside. Bart, Torigal has disembarked the habitat. Bart, come in. It's dangerous. 
Damn it, boy, I knew you could hear me. Chief. Chief, get off the radio and put on your helmet. What? Brace! <laughs> Okay. I guess that's exactly when they lost the habitat. Um, I'm just gonna make a dash for the sea moth once more. Grab a, a breath of... I was gonna say fresh air, but probably not exactly fresh air in the, in the sea moth, but... At least there's Welcome some extra the oxygen captain. in here. Okay. Alright, um, there's definitely still a lot more in there, so... Let's continue, make our way. Oh, and uh, one thing that I should do, though, is prepare the stasis rifle. So, plenty of duffel bags. We've managed to scan something else there, something... Uh, like an aquarium or something like that. Um, maybe a live specimen containment or whatever. Um, and I did actually read some comments for, uh, I don't know, was it the previous video or maybe a few videos prior? And um, someone did mention that there is a way essentially, to breed some fish. <laughs> so, that'd be kind of cool, because if we can breed, like, some peepers and stuff, then obviously we'll be able to eat on those peepers and have a bit more variety to eat, rather than just vegetables all the time. Creature egg. Why is a creature egg in here? Is this... is this some kind of an important creature egg? I'll bring it, just in case. Margaret, Maida has boarded the habitat. What are you so happy about, Maida? Say, kid, I brought you something. Is that a leviathan outside? Towed it home on the back of the sub. You killed that thing? It's still breathing. I was about to finish the job, but I can stay in chat if you'd like. No? Then make yourself useful and pass me that hardened blade. Are you out of your mind? You brought that thing here? What if it's not as dead as it looks? What if others come? You prefer it got curious and came of its own accord, or got messed up and dragged here? When we get off this planet, I am going to drag you through every court in the damn Federation. Alright. So, it seems like... I don't know, I, I find that the captain seems to be sitting on his ass quite a bit and not really doing too much. Alright, that is the... well, I thought it was yellow, but actually it's the orange tablet that we're looking for. Acquired. And, um... That means we should be able to use that tablet to open up the alien door that we saw in the previous episode. Oh, actually, we're not going the right way. Oh yes, we are going the right way. <laughs> I just focused on um, on the pathway instead. Yeah, I just want to grab some more oxygen. But yeah, um, I guess Margaret was maybe killing a whole bunch of fish or maybe trying to capture them to bring back here and perhaps maybe to study cuz it looked like some kind of a lab down there uh have i seen everything i'm not 100% sure cuz um i got a little bit worried about running out of oxygen there i mean if there's one thing that i haven't done it's to scan these kraken creatures Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure that we've seen everything, but I might do one last pass just to make sure 
Yeah, so that's open. There's nothing else on that side. And then when we go down, we've seen the PDA. Like, I guess if I hadn't already discovered a lot of the stuff here, we would be able to, like, scan more of this stuff. Um, I don't know if I really need more of this stuff. I guess they're probably just decorative, right? So, yeah, I think we're done here. It's just the, um, the Kraken guys. So... Um, I don't know if it's a good idea to go that way with the warper around. Yeah, maybe I just need to see if I can scan this guy. If I can actually land my shots. Crab squid. Okay. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I do not want to stick around. <sighs> okay, all in all though, I am very happy with what we've managed to achieve. So I was sort of thinking what we should do next, and um, I did see the icon for the radio come up and we haven't really gotten any more radio messages for a while, so we should check in on the radio. See if uh, there's anything new for us to discover. But uh, I'm actually wondering whether or not we even have a radio set up in our new base, so maybe we might need to do that first. Let me just have a look at the entry for the orange tablet here. I guess it's exactly the same, is it? Hang on, no, it's slightly different. This device hums slightly and displays an orange lit symbol resembling an N. It may offer a way to interact with compatible technologies. Righto, righto. Um, and actually there's the entry for the crab squid. So... Ooh. Miss this. Nickel is a medium hard ductile metal used extensively in production of strong metal alloys. It has applications throughout the construction industry. Assessment essential for advanced fabricating. Uh, sorry, fabrication. Um, fauna, carnivores, the crab squid. This large predator can be found in deep waters where it lurks amongst the blood kelp and membrane trees in search of prey. It can deploy a powerful electromagnetic pulse to defend itself. Yeah, that's what we saw in our first encounter. Ten limbs feature different appendages for swimming, walking, hunting, and possibly even tool use? What? <laughs> Creatures caught in its grasp are expertly butchered and quickly consumed. Mm, pleasant. Okay. Behavior. Rays and other illuminated herbivores are its usual prey, and it will approach and attack any light source in the vicinity. Its EMP blast was likely developed as a response to predation by creatures with electrical hunting mechanisms. Oh, so maybe the eels are its natural predator or something. But um, that's interesting because it says that it's attracted to light. Maybe what we could do if we do need to come back here is to just switch off the lights on the sea moth. Uh, intelligence. While crab squids appear to have large brains and a resemblance to the intelligent squids of Earth, the organ 
inside the creature's head is in fact its stomach, which it must fill with startling regularity. Assessment neutralizes electrical equipment. Lights attract... Yeah, lights attract it. Uh, it's attention, sorry. It's unwanted attention. Okay, okay. Um, I will have a little bit of water and I'll eat our last oculus there just to keep us going a little bit more. Uh, I'm not sure if there's anything beyond this point and I'm not entirely sure if it's safe to traverse beyond this point to be fair but I could try to just look around a little bit and maybe I should switch off the light as I said This is a, a pretty extensive cave. It may be a bit difficult to navigate though, because it is quite narrow. Yeah, more warpers. Um, it seems like it continues further over this way. Ooh, what? Got a large wreck here, guys. Oh, I don't like the sounds of that. There's something else here. Let's see if we can grab that. Near blueprint acquired. Uh. Let's, let's, no, oh God, okay, okay. Okay. All right, um, let's try and get out of here. Oh, we can definitely open that. <laughs> um, I've got a little bit of space to work with. Do I search this wreck right now? Maybe it's a good idea. Oh, I should maybe top up on health. But food and water is going to be a problem soon, so we definitely need to head back soon. Alright, let's do this. And I probably don't need my stasis rifle. Oh no, okay, <laughs> we can't open it. Um, I am actually a little worried about the condition of our batteries here. I'm gonna maybe swap things out. Just make sure that the Sea Glide is fully topped up. But yeah, okay, we saw those two doors, they don't open, unfortunately. Yeah, so I wonder if we can even enter. A membrane tree. Very interesting. What about this one? No. I think we tested this already. Uh, is there a way to go underneath this? Is there maybe an entrance point that I'm just not seeing? Maybe here? No? Yeah, okay, I'm getting the feeling that this might be a wash. Um, is there a vent somewhere? No. 
No. Oh, hang on. Here we go. And simply open this door. Okay, good. Um, let's just go back for some oxygen. I might actually move Sea Glide over this way. Okay, do we have any worthwhile goodies here? Yeah, I'm so happy about being able to be in the water for so long with the high capacity oxygen tank. It's so much better than the uh, the lightweight one. Hmm. Not that exciting, but we can eat it though if we really need to. Oh, another one. Anything that we can scan, perhaps? Oh, and there's another message, actually. Wow. Alright, um, hang on, no, this is a dead end, yeah, I can't open that, um, I don't actually see any pathways to go anywhere, or anything interesting to pick up or scan, for that matter. So, I mean, it's nice that we managed to get into the wreck, but was it worthwhile? Yeah, questionable. This is where we started from. I haven't opened this door, actually. Got 30 seconds left. Oh, something to scan there. An office chair? I thought we already had the office chair. Okay, right. Um, yeah. For some reason we didn't have the office chair. I thought we've seen, like, tons and tons of office chairs. Yeah, I get the feeling that we've seen everything in this wreck, so... Time to go. Right, um... Well, now that we've picked up all of that food, food is not really the problem anymore, but it is going to be a problem for us when we run out of hydration, though, so... Uh, I think I'm going to double back... back to... 
where we found that pathway. Unless there's a way up from here. Which I'm, I'm not entirely sure if that's a thing or not. Hmm. Yeah, this seems really, really deep, but then there's no... Oh my lord, what was that? Holy... Oh no! No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll stick to, we'll stick to the bottom of the ocean, thanks. Oh my lord. Uh. Is it gone? Oh. Um. Time, time to go back where we came from, I think. I think that's the best idea. <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore. Okay. Yeah, uh, it got really close, actually. Surprisingly, we didn't take any damage there. Oh. Yeah, that thing makes warpers look friendly. <laughs> oh, no. Not where I want to go. Uh, why are we continuing to go up? Hmm. Let me make sure that the Degasi habitat is actually marked down because technically I want to get back there and then go beyond it. Oh my lord, what the hell is that? Let's go. <laughs> okay. All right. I mean, it seems kind of strange that I would want to seek refuge in the deeper caves, but um, here we are. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll go beyond the Krakens. <sighs> good times, good times. Um, yeah. Yeah. I guess we were bound to find even worse things down here, right? <laughs> I just feel like I wasn't ready for something so big. The Krakens, yeah, I mean, I don't know. They're kind of terrifying as well. But then whatever that thing was, and then that legged thing as well, um, yeah makes all of the things that we've found so far seem kind of nice to deal with, you know?
All right. Now we're in familiar ter uh, territory. <laughs> And it's kind of funny to say that because uh, this is still the the terror-inducing biome. Uh, oh, okay, we've got a warper. It just went past us. Um, I am thinking of, as I said, picking up some of the blood oil postules. I'm just going to try and. Oh lord. Okay. Yep. 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 I'm surprised we didn't take damage there, but... Okay, it's gone now. <laughs> so can we fit another one in? No. Okay. In that case, I might just pick up, like, some ruby and... Yeah, maybe something else. I suppose... Yeah, I was sort of looking for more ruby. I'm not sure when we're going to, and if we're going to actually go and use the nuclear reactor. So if I end up using nuclear at some point, I'll actually grab more of the uranium when I need it. I know it's called uranonite, but let's be real, it's just uranium, right? can be processed into uranium. Alright, are we scot-free? Maybe? Wait a sec. Is this... Seek fluid intake. Yep, yep. Getting the fluid intake. I just want to make sure that we're, like, surfacing in a familiar spot, because... I think if we get too far away from... Oh my god, what is this? Huge piece of metal. But yeah, if we get too far away from the um, starting position, I think we might actually have bigger things to deal with. <laughs> bigger, bigger carnivores to deal with. Which, at this point, I don't think I'm ready. Actually, that reminds me, guys. We haven't made the Cyclops. That's actually something that I should be looking into sometime soon. Oh, okay, I am so glad to see a reef back. Because <laughs> I think the reef back sort of reminds me of like peaceful areas, you know, like areas where there are not a lot of big dangerous things. <sighs> okay. What a journey. What a journey. <laughs> <laughs> but we've learnt a lot and we've found a lot as well. I'm just looking at our charge here, 34. I was right to bring a replacement... Um, a replacement power source, a power cell. Because I feel like we definitely needed one if we were to sort of continue our expedition for longer. Just gonna swap things out, and I yeah, probably want to drop our power cell here and get that charging. Okay. Um, 
Do we have space for more food? Yeah, a little bit. There we go. Just in time. We can have a little bit of food as well. Actually, I do have a lot of stuff that I need to organize now, thanks to finding the Degasi habitat. Uh, that was the only other Degasi habitat, if I'm not mistaken, that we've seen on the list. I have no idea if the Degasi survivors moved anywhere else, aside from what we've already found. Place that there, and one more there. What else do we have? A blood oil postule. So I'm gonna actually make some more benzene I think. Right, let's stash that. And yeah, a few more bits and pieces. I swear, this is gonna just like blend in with everything else. Creature egg. I have no idea what to do with the creature egg, to be honest. Maybe I can drop it somewhere. I mean, I'm probably gonna forget about it, but... Uh, batteries. We need to organize batteries, but... Uh, one of the other things that I want to organize is... Listening to the radio. We've got a couple of messages, I think, but... I don't think we have the radio set up anywhere. So, I will need to think about setting up the radio. Uh, let's see. Here. So we need titanium and copper ore. Shouldn't be an issue. Question is, where do we set it up though? I'm sort of running out of space, but I guess I do have like you know the additional room which is our bedroom right there maybe that's not the right spot though maybe doing something in this room is better maybe we can simply put the radio here did I just get another message this is life pod 2 coordinates attached we're way past our safe depth and bleeding O2 We'll have to swim for the surface, but it's 500 meters straight up. We'll make for the rendezvous and keep you posted. Out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Life pod 2. Okay. Alright. Uh, a little late getting in touch with us, but... Is there anything else? Oh, that's it. Okay. I thought we had, like, more than one, but I guess maybe that was the only one. Maybe it just re-triggers just to remind you that you have messages. Uh, batteries. Batteries are going to be a problem, so let's swap out a lot of our batteries here. Alright, and repair tool. Brilliant. Okay. Um, I am thinking that when we come back in the next episode, I don't know if we want to continue where we left off, where we found that wreck, or uh, if we should focus on other stuff. But one thing's for sure though, I want to build the rocket platform in the next episode, because we've had that available for a while, and then, come to think of it, um, there's the Cyclops, which, you know, I've just mentioned there, which I've totally forgotten about, but we should be making it, uh, and seeing what the Cyclops is all about. So, yeah, maybe in the next episode we could potentially just focus on building a whole bunch of stuff and, you know, getting equipment and stuff like that. But anyway, I think I'm going to sign out right here, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode. A lot of, uh scary things in this episode trials and tribulations as usual leave a like if you did some comments down below suggestions subscribe if you're new stay true and i'll see you guys in the next one
拜。